I played in a $400 Fall Guys tournament hosted by Yugi. The format was simple, 8 games with each game awarding $50 to the winner. While waiting for the tournament to start, I had to think of what skin I was going to use, so I thought about it, and then it hit me. There's a lot of money involved in this tournament, and who likes money? <coughs> That's right, Mr. Krabs likes money. Hello, I like money. Anyway, like I mentioned earlier, there's a total of 8 games in this tournament but unfortunately, I couldn't get into one of them since I was too slow to type the code thanks to a bit of stream delay. I ended up having the stream open on both my PC and phone to see which one would give me less stream delay and thanks to this, I was able to get into the rest of the games. The first round of game 1 was Speed Slaughter, which isn't a bad map but I'm not that fast at speedrunning it and if that wasn't bad enough and a lobby full of sweats, my game decided to lag in the beginning of the race. What's happened? Hey! No fair! Come back! Luckily for me, I ended up catching up to the pack. I'm back! All the crazy speedrunners took the left side, but that's not me, so I stuck to what I know and simply took the shortcut on the right side, which ended up being enough for me to qualify. Full speed ahead! Whee! Whee! I did it! In round 2 we got Seesaw, everyone's favorite map. Not much happened in this round, well except for this mess up. A 1, a 2, here goes nothing! Whoa! No, no, no! Barnacles! Luckily for me, that wasn't enough to prevent me from qualifying. Whew, that was too close! For round 3, 4, and 5, nothing crazy happened. I simply managed to qualify in Tiptoe, Block Party, and Leading Light. So that brings us to the final, Hexa Terrestrial. Everything was going according to plan. I was playing it safe, but eventually, I found myself way too close to the wall, which meant that the tiles I was currently on were about to be ate by the wall. So I tried to make my way to the middle, but unfortunately, I ended up getting cut off. Hey! Oh no! He falls off, ripped a basic. Hey, nice try, man. That was terrible. Honestly, I have no excuse for that. Actually, no, yes, I do. This was very early in the morning, and I hadn't been awake for more than an hour. Anyway, game two. The first round of game two was Tundra Run. So far, nothing out of the ordinary. I get to the fan and try to Superman dive. Up in the sky! Look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's but of course, it doesn't happen. And then a beam dives into me, causing me to ragdoll into the air, which then startled me to the point where I mistimed my jump and jumped straight into the punching glove. You're in me way! Unfortunately, when you're in a lobby full of good players, a mess up like this is enough to cause you to not qualify. Oh no! I'm too old for this. <laughs> Clearly, Mr. Krabs failed to earn the money, so it's time to move on to a different restaurant. I'm sorry, Krusty Krab, but it's time for McDonald's. Why McDonald's? Well, it's time for a Grimace Shake inspired Fall Guy. Yes, I know it's outdated by now, but guess what? Deal with it. <laughs> Yo, it's actually not that bad. Anyway, before game 3 started, something funny happened. Yugi did not choose solo shows before revealing the code, so a total of 42 people ended up joining the custom lobby. What the? The problem with this is that solos is currently capped at 40 players, which meant that we could not start the game with the extra 2 players. People in chat started recommending for Yugi to kick the last 2 players to join the lobby, so that's exactly what he did. No offense guys. Try to join in next round though. What did you say to me? No offense guys. Try to join in next round though. It tore me apart. But I learned an important lesson. You can't count on anyone, especially your heroes. Anyway, for round 1 of game 3, we got the Whirly Gig. If I wanted a chance to qualify in this, I was going to have to take the middle pass. Unfortunately, that's what the majority of us were thinking, so with all of us in one spot, body blocking was bound to happen. And so it did. I ended up jump diving in place and then slipping off. Oh! Now it's over. Okay, so now it's looking bad, but I'm still gonna try again because you never know. Basic player fumbles, barely. He's still in it though. So I worked up the courage to try last second bar skip and... No! Not oh! Basic just got smacked off and that's it. Round one of game four was Seesaw. Luckily for me though, these people made it easier for me to oh, qualify. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For round two though, during Skyline Stumble, these pinball flippers were not making it easy for me to qualify. Come on, man, what the fuck is you doing, cuz? Eventually, I made it onto a flipper, but with only a few spots left, it was gonna be a close one, and me and another being qualified at the same time. Basic still made it, Gray makes it as well. So we increased the number of players moving on to the next round from 20 people to 21. I must have used up all my luck for that qual because in the next round, I did not do well. Oh, 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 o
shit, oh shit! Basic player needs to cool off, he got a little slushy. Oh my god. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even know how the fuck I did some dumb ass shit like this. Come on, man, I can't have shit! Clearly, the Grimace Shake was not the one. So once again, it was time to move on to a different restaurant. I'm sorry, McDonald's, but it's time for Burger King. Why Burger King? Well, it's time for an even more outdated meme. It's time for the Spider-Verse Whopper inspired Fall Guy. For round one of game five, we got Speed Slider. <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but just like last time, I took the shortcut on the right side and managed to qualify. For round two, we got Gate Crash, and guess what I did? I crashed into a gate. So no, the Spider-Verse Whopper was not any better than the Grimace Shake. As a matter of fact, I'm done with the fast food. What I need is a menace. Someone who could be a massive threat to the Blunder Dome. I need Spot. I am... The spot. For round one of game six, we got Dizzy Heights. Guess what? Easy. For round two of game six, we got Speed Slider. Guess what? Oh, easy. Very easy. For round three, we got Stomping Ground. Not just any stomping ground, we got the easy variation with the spinning plate in the middle. A lot of people didn't care to play it safe and stayed off the spinning plate, but not me. I had nothing to prove, so I was just chilling in the middle since it was a safer option. A word? What up there? Oh, chill, chill, chill. It's a prank, bro. I'm recording. Chill out. Damn. Yo, I'm trying to prove a point here. So anyway, like I was saying, before I was really interrupted, I had nothing to prove, so I was just chilling in the middle since it was a safer option. Oh, my God. You. I lost my life, my face. Look at me. In Game 7, I unfortunately held proof that Spot is just another villain of the week. Brutal, devastating, what a way to lose. I'm 